Welcome again to the scenic valley of Spielberg. And uh, this time we're gonna tie up some odds and ends. Uh, mainly we're gonna practice our magic a bit and then we're gonna visit the local wizard, Erasmus von Zauberberg. Zauberberg. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I think it's German, but it could just be make believian or in this case, Spielbergian. Hmm, so, we just rested at Irana's Peace, we have 58 magic points, and uh, some skills that are quite high, mm, namely, uh, we're gonna try and raise our intelligence and magic. And to do that, uh, we will actually need some magic potions. Otherwise, we will have to spend a whole lot of time resting. And actually, there's still the one encounter at the archery range that we should try and uh, overhear, because that will help us out with the brigands. Um, okay, so first things first. I think I should, even though I am a thief, try and get my hands on some of that chainmail armor. Because if the excrement hits the windmill, I shall need every bit of protection that I can get. Ask about armor. And he's still reading that pawn book or some Armor. Give me that chainmail. Buy chainmail. And, she, and he gives us a 50 silver discount, so it only cost us 45 gold. Which leaves us with 41 gold pieces. And now, we're clad in chainmail. Um, which is kind of weird, seeing as we're thieves. I assume it clinks. And we still have food rations left from the beginning of, beginning of the game, since we've... We've uh, eaten the fruit at Erana's Peace. They keep us nourished for a very long time. So now, to raise our magic skills. There's only one good way, actually. And uh, that's casting magic. Uh, our flame dart is picking up skill points, which is nice. Um, so we're gonna cast that. Cast flamed, flamer, flame dart. Boom, boom, boom. I find it funny how he keeps flinging it upwards. Maybe it's because he doesn't want to start forest fires, but hey. There we go. And three points. Cast detect magic. You sense no magic in this area. Okay. Then we're gonna run to the healer's house. And buy some power potions. Knock on door. Come on in. Did we have the other other kinds of potions? We have three healing potions and six vigor potions. That's enough. Buy power potion. And yeah, they're expensive, but not that expensive. I think I'll buy four. That should be enough for our needs at the moment. And then I'll just run in the general direction of Mount Zauberberg. Zauberberg. It's here where the snow line is. And then it's due north, I think. And over here... Oh yeah, this was where the snow giant Braugi was earlier. And we get a cheetor chasing us. Mm. Up, and we should be able to go east. There we go. And here, we should run into a very peculiar house on the hill. And this mountain over here is Zauberberg. And since it's slippery, a sign appears. It reads, Bienvenue à Mont Magie. It's always in different languages. Um, sometimes it's in English, Welcome to Magic Mountain, 
or in German, Willkommen zum Mount Zauberberg, or whatever. And I should walk since it's slippery. And cut down on the speed somewhat. But, um, yeah, so now drink power potion. And as you can see, we got some of our magic points back. Not that much, though. I thought it would recharge us to full magic, but I guess you can't win every time. So, um, our flame dart has now 70 skill. I think we should cast, uh, open calm flow. Well, let's cast Flame Dart. That's the best spell to train with at the moment since we're at this particular location. Cast Flame Dart. Boom. 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 Come on, boom. 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 And that's, I think, yeah, we have one magic point left. Drink power potion. Now let's rest a bit to gain a few more magic points. So, hmm, that didn't do much. Cast flame dart. This is why I actually picked up magic in the beginning of the game, because magic costs a lot of gold to raise. It's not hard, provided you have an unlimited supply of gold coins flowing your way. 59, hmm, 61 magic points. That might just be enough. Cast detect magic. You sense no magic here. And now we have one spell point. So we rest, now we can't. And then, uh, drink power potion. Drink two of those. And now we should be at full mana. Yes, we are. And then we save. Because, um, oh well, I hate to spoil it. But there's a game we must play, and it requires us to have uh, a goodly amount of... Yeah, now the science in English. It requires us to have a goodly amount of uh, trespassers will be towed. Hmm. Oh well, it can't be any worse than what Baba Yaga already did to us. So, oh yes, um, I was saying that there's a game that requires us to have a lot of magic points. We need spells to win it, and if we do, we get a hidden spell. <clears throat> so, now we're at the house, and there's an ugly gargoyle watching us. And it's the classic bit. He who would, uh, the wizard see first must answer questions free. What's your name? And you have to get these right. If you fail these, you get teleported back to the foot of the mountain. My quest is for glory. What is the Baron's first name? Ah, we learned that. It's Stefan. That is correct. Um, the questions will uh, vary each time you come here, and depending on your class and time of day and whatnot. But yeah, now we can enter the house. <clears throat> and it's a bit like Aladdin's cave. If you touch anything, the wizard will teleport you out. So. And then there's this fellow over here. There's a strange figure on a shelf above the stairs. It looks like an overgrown rat wearing a wizard's hat. Um, and there's the wizard's picture. And the rat is actually his familiar. His name is Fenris, and the wizard is known as Erasmus. And mysteriously, they both disappear. Come in and sit down. And they both have a very quirky sense of humor. And apparently they like puns. Yes. Do you know how to cast the open spell? Yes, I do. Do you know how to cast the fetch spell? Yes, I know that also. The flame dart? Yes. The trigger? Yes. Wonderful! Then you can play a game of Mage's Maze with me. 
I'll teach you the dazzle spell if you win. You do want to play, don't you? Well, yes. Of course I do. Let's get this game started. And... Uh, I think I had... A, yeah, I'll just save it here. Mm. Mage's Maze. So the point is to get that little white thing um, down here. And that's Erasmus's character. You're supposed to not let him get there. And um, apparently the, uh, the character will only cross bridges when he's the right size. And I can tease Erasmus. Oh, I kind of fucked up that. I should have fetched that bridge somewhere else, so there we go. Um, do I need to trigger something because my character isn't moving? Now I can fetch this bridge over here, yes. And those ladders over there. And trigger to make myself grow. Maybe now he'll use the ladders. Use them! Use them! Ugh, God. And I'll uh, fetch... Fetch... Uh, there we go. Trigger. Oh, I got small. Use the ladders. Climb down! Get down! I'm almost out of magic, by the way. That's kind of why I say it's not as easy to win because he can't directly control... Uh, there we go. So it needs to be middle-sized to go down... Oh, you fucker! He stole the ladder from under me. I'm gonna do the same thing. I couldn't. Okay, so now I better load. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. First, then... Oh! There we go, there we go. Then we fetch the ladders there. Oh, those ladders will do nicely as well. Trigger. Now that I'm medium sized, I can use the ladders if my if my character actually goes there. have to be real quick with them spells because there's a time limit like every time I trigger a spell it only is in effect for a certain amount of time so I have to be quick when moving the bridges Flame. boom die can I maybe control the character with the flame dart? Certain. Can I put it there? Go away from it! No, don't go towards it! Yeah, now climb down the ladder. Climb down the ladder. Thank you! No, down! Down! Ah, jeez! Well, at least his little dude is far away, so I still have a shot at this. No, don't go up! Don't go up there! Go down here! Mm. I'll take the... Oh, crap. So it needs to be small to go through that gap. Open this to be ready. Now use the ladder. There's a good boy. Come on, down there. No, don't, don't do that. Climb down the freaking ladder. This is quite tedious at times. 
How did you get up here? How did... What? That's not fair! Boom! I think that does something. I do remember this being this hard. It's mostly due to the random nature of the characters, so... Oh, so he gets to use the ladder, but I don't. Oh, that's just brilliant. That's just nice. Should, yeah, that forced him to restart. So now the coast should be clear if only my little dude would go that way. How about I just rack up the speed and see what he does? Down here. You down here. Use the. Here, go. <sighs> go, go, go. There we go, there we go. Um, not that way, not that way. Go back over the bridge, back over the bridge. <sighs> now if I had any mana, I really should remove the ladder. And the bridge after he's crossed it. This way, go this, this way. There you go, and then uh, over here, here, yeah, maybe. No, not that, not that way. Can I maybe fetch the ladders? So, huh? Yes, I can, but he already won. God damn it. Restore. Oh, you son of a bitch. So the little guy can cross bridges um, and go through tiny holes. So maybe I can fetch the ladder there. And I turn him big. Maybe I can, yeah, better save here just in case. Because now we're in a, in a good spot. Yes, go down, 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 go, 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 yes, and fetch the ladder away. There we go. Then I can just open this and use the trigger to turn him into a little man. Open the other boulder. And... Technically, we're in a good place. Now, come over here! Over here, you numbskull! Here! Here! Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Come on! There's a path leading here! Come on! Come on! You're almost there! Almost there! Trigger! Now he can't go back. And then I can use fetch. Fetch to get the last bridge over there. And I should win. Yes! There we go! <laughs> you seem to have beginner's luck. It only took you one game to win. It usually takes at least 500 tries for anyone less than a full wizard to defeat me. And we get the Razzle Dazzle spell. And he, apparently he enjoys playing Mage's Maze. Well, I sure didn't. You know which has more legs, one cow or no cow? Um, no cow? No cow has more than four legs. Oh, yeah. Name. 
What about Baba Yaga? Oh, he's drinking tea. Mm. What about... Uh, what about Henry? Oh, he likes Henry's sense of humor. Well, that can't be a good sign. Hmm. Uh, no. So, and he keeps asking me puns. Ask about brigands. Uh, warlock. What about the warlock? The only thing I've seen the brigand warlock cast is sneezing powder. Hmm, so he's dropping actually hints. Hints about the Brigand Warlock and his identity. Ask about... Uh, Fenris. So, why do you keep a rat around? Uh, yeah, it's hard to take him seriously when he's wearing a silly hat. What about... Zara? Has a real flair for the theatric. Her method of greeting customers at her shop is showy but effective. But she has no sense of humor. <laughs> Just because she never laughs at your jokes doesn't mean that she lacks a sense of humor. Okay, Fenris has a has a pointy point there. Ask about tea. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about tea. Ask about the Baron. Okay, ask about the bear. A dispel potion. Ask about the healer. Then. Oh, he didn't like my questions, so he banished me to the foot of Mount Zauberberg. Oh well, we already got what we came for. We have the dazzle spell right there. Actually blinds our foes. But since we're already running at 22 minutes, it's about time to end this episode. So thanks for watching and welcome again to join us in our final episode, I think, of Quest for Glory 1. So you want to be a hero.